We have Distill Union's Wally Jr. MagSafe Wallet. Let's take a look. And here it is. I have carried this, so as you know, I will take you through my experiences at the end, but uh, let's take a quick look here. Nice. This is what I really liked about this. Notice there's a little magnet action happening here with this pull strap. And other than that, it's a pretty simple MagSafe. Comes in three other colors, black, gray, and navy. Features of this wallet include this right here. This is an external mag closure. It is uh, the pull strap right here that prevents cards from falling out. And when you have cards that are placed in there, like this, it captures it all back, captures it all back, and click. The cards are maintained. There's a bit of security that goes into there. Obviously, this is the internal slot. This internal slot has capacity up to four cards, and it has this MagSafe, of course. It's got the, you can see right in the sheen, that is where the magnet, the MagSafe magnet resides right there. And it makes sure that it can adhere to Apple's iPhone 12 or better wallets. And that's a quick review of the features of the Distel Union Wally Junior MagSafe wallet. We've been looking at MagSafe wallets, and I carried this one for three months, if you can believe it. If there's anyone who can do Magnus, the Distill Union folks can. And I tell you how it went after the review, so let's keep going. It measures 3.8 by 2.5 by 0.2, and it weighs 34 grams. That's 1.2 ounces. Minimalist card carry, one. Reasonable card carry, four, which is the maximum. It can carry up to four, which is better than the Apple version right here, which can carry up to three. That's the maximum it can do. Now, you can fold cash, like I said, put that in there. It's doable, uh, you know, three cards plus that cash, that's kind of pushing it a little bit, but it's okay. This is designed in the United States. It's made in China, and it is a full grain veg tanned and leather, but it also has the neodymium magnets. It has, also has steel and nylon in this. Well, let me show you. So we have the magnets that is in this right here. This front plate is steel, okay? This is the steel piece. Let's pull these out. And it has a form to it, okay? It just isn't a leather piece that expands. It is a formed piece, very similar to the Apple wallet as well. You can see that here. And then of course in the back it has the magnet itself. So a been able to provide the form here with some good rigidity in the front, and that's where the magnet then connects right there, keeps it all together, really clever. The sewing is also done very well, reinforced in the right places, right here at the top you can see, and on the back you can see where it's back stitched there, that they have reinforced this at the top. It's not that this is gonna be pulled back a lot to cause some potential blowout, but it's still good practice nonetheless. It has RFID in it, yeah I know, but it's okay, the use case being, that if you attach your wallet to your phone, if you go to use the tap pay, then it could interfere with a wallet, or sorry, a card in the wallet that if you tap it, thinks it might be coming from here. So having your car sh card shielded here is a good thing. It's really not that bad. Now it's priced for $45. This wallet, of course, requires the Apple iPhone 12 or better. And unlike the Apple MagSafe wallet, which I've shown here, you don't need to remove this wallet from your phone to use it. You can actually just grab the pull strap, pull it up, and have access to your cards. Unfortunately, when you have the Apple wallet here, uh, there is no way to get into here. You have to pull it off to turn it over to get to the thumb push slot here to get your card out. You can also use this as a slim card case. It's really quite attractive. Now, of course, you have to remove this from the wallet before you can charge your uh, phone if you have a MagSafe charger or any other method like that other than plugging it in. Now the Apple MagSafe strength attachment I think is a little stronger than this, but it's really unscientific. And that's really because the magnets found in the, in the Apple wallets really have this vertical adjustment to it. From the pocket perspective, you can see that it inserts just fine in the front pocket and being able to pull it out just works just as well. And of course you can take it off and use it like that. Now this is one of my favorite all time MagSafe wallets. 
when I carried it, this was brilliant. And it works with, of course, the Distill Union iPhone cases that they have, which they do sell. And Distill Union has a 30-day return policy and a one-year warranty. Now onto the final score. For quality of four, price of three, features of four, this really has good features with that pull strap. I love the security with the magnetic top. That's awesome. Usability of four, again, for the same reasons. And perception of four. Distill Union makes great products. That gives us a final score, 38 out of 50. Now, I carried this wallet for three months. I had four cards, which I feel is perfect. Much more useful than the three card max that you have with the Apple wallet. So I had uh, my ID, two credit cards, and a work access card. For those who haven't watched my channel for a while, you know that I usually transfer my standard eight to 10 cards between my wallets for carry. And I recently did a 10, sorry, six month carry test on the Apple MagSafe wallet. You can see that up here. And I really struggled at first when I had to downsize to just three cards. But when I was done, it made it a lot easier. And the more I trained myself and carried just a few cards, it seemed to be just fine. And then I'd pick up my other cards depending on the day, whether it was an insurance card or something else. Now, very quickly, I began to develop a, a patina on this one, being that this is much better leather than what we have on the Apple wallet for sure. And it does still, it still smells really good, even though I carried it. The best thing about this wallet is the pull strap and the magnet. So you have a pull strap here, and even though... I haven't put it back in. You have the magnet for security. It goes over the top here, and so cards just don't come out. I, I really, really like that. And Distill Union, they're masters of magnets, so they know how to do this right. Now, the, the thing about the design that is I love about this is because you don't have to remove this from your phone in order to get to your cards. However, I do find that no matter what, no matter what MagSafe wallet you have, you generally do remove it because the strength of the magnets just isn't good enough to keep it on your phone. It'll always kind of fall off in the process. And so I still use the habit that I had, that I created when I was carrying the Apple MagSafe wallet, where I'd reach into my pocket, I'd have my phone in my pocket just like this, it's sitting in my pocket, I'd reach in, strip this off, use it, do whatever I need to here, and then go right back into my pocket and attach it. It's the easiest thing than taking your entire phone out to make that transaction. Now for my likes, four cards. It may be only one card more than the Apple MagSafe wallet, but it makes a load of difference. It really does. The leather feels like it should, very high quality. You can smell it, still smells like good, good leather. The pull strap, high quality nylon. The strap head with that magnet, brilliant. I've said that many, many times, love it. Now for my dislikes. There's still a problem like all MagSafe wallets due to the strength or lack thereof of the magnets that it can strip off by accident. But that really only happens if you wear super tight pants and you know who you are out there. So putting some small gripper dots on the back may help prevent that from sliding and uh, having it strip off. But there are other ideas I'm sure that could be incorporated here. And there you go. Thanks for watching the Distill Union Wally Jr. MagSafe Wallet Review and the carry test I did. We'll see you in the next review.